What is hypothyroidism? Hypothyroidism occurs when the thyroid gland does not produce enough hormones to meet the body's needs. The thyroid is a small butterfly-shaped gland in the front of the neck. Thyroid hormones control how the body's metabolism. So they affect almost every body part, even how the heart beats. What are the hypothyroidism signs? Who is at more risk of this disease? What factors increase the risk of hypothyroidism? Stay tuned to the PARS Health TV channel to get your answers. Who is more at risk of hypothyroidism? Women are much more prone to hypothyroidism than men. This disease is also more common in people over 60 years old. Hypothyroidism is more likely in the following cases. History of thyroid problems such as goiter, enlargement of the thyroid gland. History of surgery or use of radioactive iodine to treat thyroid disorders. History of thyroid, neck, or chest radiation therapy. Family history of thyroid disease. Pregnancy in the last six months. Turner syndrome, a genetic disorder that affects women. Celiac disease, a chronic digestive and immune system disorder that causes damage to the small intestine. Sjogren's syndrome, a disorder that causes dry eyes and mouth. Pernicious anemia, a condition caused by vitamin B12 deficiency. Type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune disease that affects the joints. Lupus, a chronic autoimmune disease that can cause inflammation and pain in different parts of the body such as skin, joints, and kidneys. Is hypothyroidism a problem in pregnancy? If left untreated, hypothyroidism during pregnancy can affect the health of the mother and fetus. However, thyroid medications can help prevent these problems and are safe to take during pregnancy. Many women treated with thyroid hormone drugs need a higher dose during pregnancy. Therefore, if you find out that you are pregnant, you should contact your doctor immediately. Symptoms of hypothyroidism. The most important symptom is that, unlike hyperthyroidism, the level of thyroid hormone secretion has decreased, and the chemical reactions related to the body's metabolism have been disturbed and reduced. These symptoms appear in most people with hypothyroidism, reducing the threshold of tolerance to cold weather. The natural appetite for food has disappeared. The skin is rough and thickened. The patient complains of brittle hair. Feeling very tired and weak even after adequate rest abnormal thickening of the voice, spasms and cramping in muscles, occurrence of constipation problem, feeling sleepy during the day, decreased level of alertness and concentration, abnormal forgetfulness, numbness of hands and feet, swelling of the face and eyes, weight gain, disruption of the menstrual cycle, intensification of menstrual bleeding, infertility, goiter, Symptoms of hypothyroidism in women. Irregular and prolonged menstrual cycle. Forgetfulness. Depression. Hair loss and thinning. Decreased heart rate. Swelling of the joints. Pain in the joints. Increased blood cholesterol. Muscle stiffness. Puffy face. Obesity and weight gain. Tightness in the chest. Constipation. Dry and rough skin. Sensitivity to cold. Feeling weak and tired. The feeling of muscle weakness. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell. Now, let's dive right into the treatments of hypothyroidism. Treatment of hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is treated by replacing the hormones that the thyroid can no longer make. Levothyroxine tablets are similar to the hormone that causes the thyroid gland to be healthy. The doctor may recommend taking medicine in the morning before breakfast. About 6 to 8 weeks after starting to take the drug, the doctor requests a blood test and adjusts the drug dose if necessary. Every time the dose is adjusted, a new blood test is necessary. After reaching the appropriate dose, thyroid evaluation with blood tests is recommended every 6 months and then once a year. Hypothyroidism is usually completely controlled by taking thyroid hormone medications, as long as we take the recommended dose as required. We should never stop taking medicine without consulting our doctor. 
Taking too much of these drugs without consulting a doctor can cause severe disorders, such as heart problems or osteoporosis. Nutrition and Hypothyroidism The thyroid gland uses iodine to make thyroid hormones. However, having some disease or other types of autoimmune thyroid disorders may predispose you to the harmful side effects of iodine. Without consulting a doctor, consuming foods with high amounts of iodine or iodine supplements may cause or worsen hypothyroidism. For this reason, it is very important to consult a doctor in the following cases. What foods to limit or avoid? The need to take supplements containing iodine. Take some anti-cough syrups because they may contain iodine, etc. Do you have any of these symptoms? You can share your opinions with us and other audiences in the comments section. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Looking for more amazing videos? Check out the videos popping up on the right and the left of your screen.